Okay, I'm um, taking you through my stretching pre-run routine. Uh, here I'm doing a hamstring stretch. I move into quads. Usu I usually do around uh, 20 to 30 seconds each side. Uh, try to get you know the, the front part of the leg and the back part, the posterior end. Um, here I am stretching my hip flexors. This is a really important stretch, especially for runners. If you're, especially if you're putting in a lot of miles, the hip flexors tend to get tight. Uh, here I'm foam rolling the IT band. Uh, this one tends to be a, a painful um, roll, so make sure you get all the sore spots out of there, all that uh, tension out of there. Just massage that area out. Um, remember to do both sides. Just hold each area, anything that's sore for 20 to 30 seconds or until that soreness kind of goes away. There I move on to the other side. I tend to do uh, this uh, stretch slash foam roll before and after my runs uh, to try to keep my legs as fresh as possible. Um, I also do a little bit of ice baths and saunas because those help with uh, recovery so do as much as I can in terms of recovery and you know obviously the essential which is you know proper sleep proper nutrition uh, drinking plenty of water uh, here I move to my back this I usually hear a lot of pops when I do this one it kind of feels good gets the back muscles kind of loosened up a little bit and then I finish off with a hamstring stretch before I go into my run. All right, guys, I'm just jogging. It's a nice, easy pace. Feels weird talking to get in the camera. So you have it to eight minute a mile pace. Just going to do six miles easy. Finish out with some strides. Have it at a 1% incline. Okay, I only did four miles. I was feeling a little bit fatigued and I do have an interval workout tomorrow so I'm going to do a few strides and I'm going to call it a day and try to recover. Uh, I might show you what I do for recovery um, so that would be stretching, foam rolling, ice bath. Uh, I might use a sauna but the sauna is kind of shitty over here. As you can see I sweat a shit ton. It really doesn't take much for me to sweat. I can sweat anytime. And I love these shorts. Really accentuates the leg muscle, so that's cool. Yeah, just gonna finish a few uh, strides on the track and call it a day. Peace out. Oh, and I'll show you, show you what I eat when I get home. Okay, I just got home, uh, took a shower. Uh, now I'm gonna make uh, some of this beefless ground meat. Uh, I think it's made out of tofu. Um, the macros on this are 2 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein. That's pretty good. And there's 5 grams of fiber. So there's only net 4 grams of protein. Um, probably going to cook it up in a frying pan. Add some, you know, vegetables. I'll show you my meal when I'm done. Uh, and I'm probably gonna have it with a little bit of carb just because I am winning myself off of keto. Here is what the package looks like. Um, it looks like ground beef, but you can sort of tell that it's not ground beef. It smells kind of, smells good actually. Um, and yeah, here's the macros on it. Really good, only four grams net carb. So that's perfect on keto. And I'm going to be cooking it in a fry pan. I got some coconut oil here. Just wash this off. About half a tablespoon right there. So that's 60 calories. Pure fat. 
Um, I'm just going to cook it for four to five minutes. It says nonstick pan over medium heat, saute frozen beefless ground till brown and heated throughout approximately four to five minutes. Add to your favorite recipe. Yep, so I'm going to add that there and then I will uh, show you the other components of my meal. Here I got a pea protein. I use this pretty often. Uh, I usually mix it with my oatmeal um, and it tastes pretty good. So having oatmeal and I'm gonna make uh, some sort of like a taco thing with some sour cream that I weighed out here. Kitchen's kind of a mess, but yeah, I'm gonna put some toppings on it and, and I'm not gonna put so much fat on the taco thing because you never wanna combine fats and carbs, but probably gonna have another serving of this oatmeal and then wait a couple of hours and then have another meal so yeah, that's what it's looking like take the pea protein here that's one scoop one scoop is about half a serving um probably go a little more that's a full scoop so that's half a serving a serving is two scoops right there so I'm gonna mix that up and yep might add a little bit of honey to it for some sweetness it's already pretty sweet so probably don't need to do that but yeah I'll show you okay so here it is uh, this is um, a flatbread wrap I use this kind of wrap um, it is called a lavash bread wrap and it only has eight grams of carbs per serving. So that works pretty well if you're following a low carb diet. Um, so I have the meatless, the beefless ground beef. Um, I added some sriracha mayo. I did add some sour cream and I added some um, spinach and kale mix. Uh, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on this, the lemon that so conveniently is right next to me. Um, so this is going to be my meal. It looks pretty good. Um, um, I already ate my oatmeal. I'm probably going to have another bowl of oatmeal. And yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's try it right here in front of the camera. So I'm going to try to not screw this up too much. I'm not sure how to wrap this up. It's kind of like a burrito. And, uh, ugh. Maybe like fold the end a little bit. All right. That's pretty good. I'm gonna make another one. Still have some ground beef left. I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna post it on Instagram before I eat it. So that's it for the video. You guys saw me train a little bit. Um, you saw me see what I eat. And uh, I'll just uh, take you through the process to get to our goal. So stay tuned.